Okay guys, so I'm gonna spend a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick message for you guys. It's gonna be a check-in for basically the rest of October. So this is gonna be for Aries. We're starting off at the top of the zodiac. So Aries, let's see what's going on with you guys and why you are needing the message before everybody else. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Make sure you guys subscribe, let me know down below in the comments if this resonates. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I do do personal readings, that is also down in the description. If you're interested on one-on-one so already guys we have death here which is Scorpio energy Mars energy Pluto energy but uh, what we have is a spiritual rebirth something that's came to an end a big transition a change of some kind the bottom of the deck we have the high priestess Pisces energy so something that may have been kept secret or something that you're finally some light is being shed on it like kiss your butt you're walking away from it maybe something to do with work or something you're working on let's see page of swords air energy that is gemini libra aquarius there may be something that you're seeing or getting ideas about and looking for something to balance out or fair, fairness. You're looking for a big change that'll bring some balance and fairness into your life and stability. And you're looking for maybe a new way of having that. You know there's something that you need to leave behind. And some of you are looking for a new job or a new career or a new home. There's a really big change that you're experiencing because you cut out something that definitely wasn't serving you in the spiritual growth that you're trying to achieve. We have here the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. And the uh, Two of Cups. Definitely getting that this is about something on the material realm, like a job or a project or a relationship maybe. Uh, definitely something coming in for you in Scorpio season. I'm feeling like there may have been something you had to cut out in Libra season in order to be able to come into alignment with whatever this is. There was like a raise of consciousness that had to occur, some healing in order for you to be able to stay positive and see what success you are basically about to walk into. And whatever it is, it's gonna be something that's gonna bring long-term stability, financial success and comfort. So you will be able to have a nice little financial up level. And you will be able to, I said up level, upgrade, sorry have prosperity and growth with whatever this is. It's something that you were divinely and destined to have. You had to defeat a lot of things to be able to come into a connection with this. And I feel like you're gonna have to be patient and wait. Don't give in to any kind of lies and rumors or any kind of opportunists or people that are trying to take away from your joy and success anybody that's going to take advantage what you're going to have coming in is going to bring you a lot of happiness and again i'm seeing you know the we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles and the six of pentacles pentacles are dominating this this reading so i feel like if you've been worried about finances or things haven't been financially ideal for you, then there's gonna be a, a huge major change in that you need to look for the signs. Um, 
I think you'll hear something about it in Libra season, but I think you'll be experiencing this transition and change in the physical realm in Scorpio for whatever reason. And I feel that you're going to be feeling very compatible with whoever or whatever this is. The environment's going to be very comforting and you won't have to be worried about egos, everything in Everyone you'll be worrying about is going to be down to earth and it's going to be a good vibe. I think you already know that you had to walk away from something that wasn't working out for you and cut it out because it was just karmically bad for you and it, it just wasn't weighing out and not in alignment with where the direction you're trying to go. And I feel like some of you are having like a promotion or some kind of level up. Again, if it is a relationship reading that you're taking this as it resonates for, then you seem like you have a divine counterpart, soulmate that you know is somebody you'd be able to have a reciprocating relationship with, like you're not giving too much and receiving too less and, you know, vice versa. And so that's what I see with that. Let me get a little bit of um, outside. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be hearing and getting truth and clarity and awareness and change your perspective about something that you may have felt like left you at a loss at, you know, or a disadvantage, but you're about to have a lot of success for you and your family long term. It's going to be able to really help you out. Um, I guess this is the finance reading for you, Aries. You felt like you may have been in a prison of your own making or you have some tough battles you've had to fight and persevere through, but you haven't gave up. And so for that, you are being able to get over your grief and sadness and get over, you know, this transition so that you are not with people that take advantage again. Like you're coming in and you're seeing that there's a win-win for everybody and you probably taking some time to yourself to be in solitude and do some deep soul searching and for that that's why you're going to be reuniting with you know people in a work environment or finances that will help you be able to have a good time because we're here for a good time not a long time Aries and temperance what you've done is had a very transformational healing that's taken a lot of patience and there's some things that you may have to get rid of that were being done in excess. Only you know what those things are. But it's leading you to a place of healness where you're able to, you know, basically settle in to going with the flow and not having so much control. Like you'll be able to have a good balance between your life with getting the finances that you desire and also being able to spend time with those that matter the most as you gain this money because i hear some of you say that when you have a lot of money that you know there's not a lot of time well there's going to be a balance for all that for everything you've had to go through like you like i said you came through some tough things and you've been enlightened on the way and there's been an initiation that you had to kind of go through spiritually in order to get through this. You had to make some choices that you may have been scared to make, but you're being rewarded for that. And so that's pretty much what I have for you, Aries. We'll give you some advice for the remainder of October. But it seems like some of you will be hearing about some money and how you'll be getting more of it. And you'll be really set straight by Christmas, so don't worry about that. If any of you have been worrying about that already. I know Aries people can be very forward thinkers. Everything's going to be just fine. So your advice here is the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. So sword energy, which is air energy, again, you're Aries, but this is a lot of air energy, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
I don't know if any of you are dealing with any air signs because you have just about everybody here but the Queen of Swords. <laughs> But there's a need for you to change your perspective and not get hostile and impulsive and do anything that it, it guard your tongue. That's what I'm hearing. Don't say too much. Don't be cold. Don't be manipulative. Like show a little emotion. It's it's good to show some passion, but there's something that you need to somebody you might need to stop talking to or learn how to start talking better. It's some wisdom that needs to be gained. I don't know if some of you are um, having any confrontations with anybody, but stop and try to be a peacemaker and try to have peaceful thoughts and be a mediator because there may be something that you may be in the middle of that you have to be peaceful through this transition and not let your thoughts get the best through you. There may be some things that you're confused about and you may need to not let your thoughts get too deep into whatever it is you're wanting to manifest. Don't overthink it is what I'm hearing. I know that a lot of you are trying to make decisions with your emotions out of it, but there may be a need for you to maybe feel more about finances and think less about finances because I feel like with all these swords, a lot of you are really doing a lot of thinking and wondering. So that's pretty much what I have for that because you also have, you know, the six of swords that's going to peaceful water. Things are going to calm out. So with them calming down, you know, just you calm down with it. And that is what I have for you, Aries. I hope this message resonates. Please let me know down below if this is something about career and finances so I know I was going in the right direction. And until next time, guys, we'll be discussing November's energy next. So you guys have a good hump day and a good rest of your October.